Hello everyone. Today we will discuss some natural herbs that are very helpful in curing an enlarged prostate and its associated symptoms. Some treatments and herbal supplements are already available over the counter. However, the American Urological Association does not recommend or recognize these treatments for managing benign enlarged prostate. If you'd like to try one of the treatments mentioned in this video, you should still consult your doctor. First in our list is Pigeum. Pigeum is a supplement made from the bark of the African plum tree. The extract has been used for many years to treat enlarged prostate. It works as an anti-inflammatory and may have positive effects on the bladder as well. One small study found that, when combined with other herbs, Pigeum might help reduce issues of frequent urination in people with enlarged prostate. Next in our list is ryegrass pollen. Ryegrass pollen is an extract made from the pollen of ryegrass and timothy. The supplement is thought to be helpful in lowering the urge to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. One study showed that ryegrass pollen may be effective in reducing symptoms like frequent urination and nighttime urination. Next, you can try saw palmetto. Saw palmetto is an herbal supplement that's made from the fruit extracts of the saw palmetto plant. It's one of the more popular herbal remedies used to treat urinary problems, including enlarged prostate. You can find it in pill form or as a liquid extract. A range of 100 to 960 mg daily has been used to treat enlarged prostate, but according to the National Institutes of Health, a few studies have shown it to be effective. As a result, saw palmetto is one of the most commonly recommended natural remedies. However, more research is still needed in order for it to be officially accepted as a treatment in the medical community. South African stargrass can be a great alternative for treating BPH. Extracts of South African star grass are used for medical purposes because they contain beta-cytosterols. Plant sterols like these are thought to reduce inflammation and improve urine flow in men with enlarged prostate. You can also find beta-cytosterol in some yogurts and margarines. There is some evidence to suggest that beta-cytosterol may actually be effective in treating urinary symptoms related to enlarged prostate. Next in our list is pumpkin seed oil. Oil extracted from pumpkin seeds can be purchased in capsule form. One study found that pumpkin seed oil is a safe and may be an effective alternative treatment for enlarged prostate. Researchers used a dose of 320 mg per day over the course of 12 months. Now let's see how pumpkin seed oil helps reduce the size of the prostate. It is believed that dihydrotestosterone, a metabolite of testosterone, builds up in the prostate and contributes to its growth. The phytochemicals in pumpkin seeds may reduce the effects of dihydrotestosterone on the prostate and block the conversion of testosterone into dihydrotestosterone pumpkin seeds also have anti-inflammatory properties, which may help reduce inflammation in the prostate gland associated with BPH. Next is stinging nettle. Stinging nettle is a plant with a long medicinal history in Europe. Its leaves have fine hairs that cause sharp pain when they touch human skin. That's how it got the name stinging nettle. The leaves and root are also thought to have medicinal benefits. In Europe, the root is often used to treat enlarged prostate. Some believe it can help increase the flow of urine in men with enlarged prostate. However, there isn't solid clinical research to support its effectiveness. We have already created a detailed video about the best foods for treating an enlarged prostate. Please check the description box for the link. Now, it's important to note that herbal supplements aren't prescribed by doctors to treat enlarged prostate. They also aren't approved by the Food and Drug Administration. None of the above medications should be used in place of medical treatment from a doctor. So that's all for today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.